In problem number six, it says, in the figure point P, it's at rest when it is on the x-axis. Now the time T, when P returns to the original position on the x-axis, is closest to Y. So, when P is rotating this diagram, it's going to make a revolution, 2 pi. Now the formula that we're going to use for this problem is going to be theta equal initial theta plus omega or initial omega times the time plus one half angular acceleration times time squared. Now the key thing is that point P is start at rest. So that means that this guy is going to be zero. And the initial omega times the time is going to be equal to zero as well. So we end up with theta being equal to one half alpha times t squared. Now, as we said at first, we can rewrite theta as 2 pi. And that's the angle it makes when it returns to the original position. So in this case, we're going to solve for t. So as we do that, we do some algebra, we're going to end up with t equal square root of 4 pi divided by 0 0.010, which is the angle of acceleration that's given in, in the first place. And that should give us an approximate of 35.44 seconds for the time. So now our answer would be 35 seconds, letter E. So 35 seconds is the time the P is going to take when it returns to the original position.